I think a support system for PKU is so important. Sometimes PKU patients feel like we're in a fog and that fog feels like you're in a room but you're unable to really comprehend everything that's going on. You just feel very out of it. When my fee levels are high, I usually get a headache. I have, I get really moody. Um, I feel like I'm in a fog and I'm trying to say things but I just feel like I can't get the words out. I think my husband would say when my fee levels are high that he recognizes that I may be a little bit more moody than, than usual um, and a little bit maybe irrational. And um, I think that he can tell by the way that I um, am less attentive than usual. I see a lot of frustration. Uh, sometimes fee levels can happen just from getting sick. It's not necessarily always just from what you eat and so it can sometimes be affected by other things. So that frustration of like, I don't know why my fee levels are high and that can lead to mood swings, can lead to irritability, um, can lead to the loss of memory. We could be in the middle of a conversation and she'll completely forget and I can kind of see that deer in the headlights look kind of thing that kind of shows you that she's just completely lost. I have problems completing tasks or understand what's being said. Um, I can be really disorganized and forgetful when I have high fee levels. When I'm experiencing these symptoms in my mind, I can't really think through a thought very well. I'm trying to um, be in a conversation, but I'm not able to get the words out. When I was a teenager, I did go off diet for a time and I experienced some not so good symptoms. In the moment, it didn't feel like I had high blood levels. I was just ignoring everything that was a symptom. So one of my biggest responsibilities as her husband, um, as her like PKU partner, as her caretaker and advocate is going to the doctors with her. So that way, when the doctor is saying something that she might forget, I'm there to hear as well. So it's essentially an extra accountability person that's there to learn everything that the doctor is saying. The most important thing to me when managing my PKU is making sure that my fee levels are low. And to do that, I use every tool in my toolbox. I work with my clinic team to make sure my blood fee level is where it should be by looking through a three-day diet record and my latest blood fee level. One of the best ways I help maintain her fee levels is making sure that I do the grocery shopping. So I'm always making sure that there's a variety of different fruits and vegetables each week so that way she's not eating the same things over and over again. I think a support system for PKU is so important and I attribute my mom to why I'm still on diet right now because the moment I could do something on my own, she had me do it on my own, but she trained me before she let me do it independently. And that included taking my own blood, managing my own diet, and calculating how much fee I was getting every day. And also when it got to be the time when I needed to handle insurance on my own. One of the important things that she had growing up was her mom. And her mom was her biggest advocate, biggest partner. And then when we got married, that shift kind of changed and I kind of started to step into that position. By doing that, not also becoming partners in life, but that also included PKU. And so now everything that she goes through, I'm right there with her. Some people get frustrated by going to the clinic, and I would say that I think it's still important because if your blood level is not where it needs to be, you do need to be looking at the foods that you're eating to make sure that you're not creating any brain damage. Some of the questions they ask me at clinic are how I'm feeling, if there's anything that I need to talk about in managing my PKU, and if there's any new foods I've been eating lately. It's really important that they dig a little deeper and ask how things are at school or how your relationships are, because those can be affected when your blood V levels are high. So many people say that PKU is a diet thing, but I think it's a brain thing. You need to protect your brain. I'm really thankful that I recognize that protecting my brain is very important. 